Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the four E notes on true bearings and navigation. All right. Uh, after this, you should be able to use bearings and the Pythagorean theorem to solve real world type problems. So what we want to do first is figure out what bearing is all about. Okay. So true bearings measure the direction in the travel by comparing it with the true north direction. So you're always starting from true north. Measurements are always taken in the clockwise direction. Okay, so for example, if uh, we were going to show, like if you were, I don't know, traveling, let's say if you were traveling west, due west, you would do your true bearing. You would start, really probably wisest to start with a little compass rose. True north is where you always start from. And then you're going to go in the clockwise direction. So you would calculate how many degrees it is in the clockwise direction. So you'd go around here, because this is west, right? Never eat shredded wheat, right? So this here is a 270 degree angle here from true north over to west. So again, if you were saying that you were head west, you would say you were heading on a bearing of 270 degrees. All right, so that's what bearing is all about. All right, let's take a look at an example. This is example 14 from page 99. And again, I've taken a little artistic license to uh, change the examples a little bit um, so this one now says, Alfonso takes his pet Dork, and there's a picture of Dork over there, on a walk. He leaves his house and heads east for five kilometers, and then he takes Dork south for six kilometers. How far are they now from home? So, I would highly suggest drawing a picture. Okay, so let's start with this here. Here's True North. And east, south, and west. So, takes him on a walk, leaves his house, and heads east. So let's say that this right here is his house. Okay. So he heads east for five kilometers. So he's heading this way for five kilometers. So let's call this five kilometers. And then it says how far, oh, sorry. Then he takes Dork south for six kilometers. So then we go south right here for six kilometers. And it says now how far are they from home? So we want to figure out what this measurement here is, right? So we'll call that x. And that's what we're trying to figure out. So the good news here is that if you're going, if you're heading due east and then you head due south, that makes a right angle. And again, that's the big key in order to be able to solve these problems here is that you have to know that that's a right angle. Okay, so really if we just have to figure this out, we're just back to a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So Pythagoras is our buddy again on this one. So Again, it doesn't matter which one we use for the legs. It's just important that we know that this here is our C. So we know that it equals X squared, and then we'll just put these other two in here. 5 squared plus 6 squared equals X squared. So that's 25 plus 36 equals X squared. Add those together, and we get 61. And again, we don't want to know what X squared is. We want to know what X is. So we square root to get rid of the square, and we get x equals, let's calculate that out, we get square root of 61, we get 7.81, and it's in kilometers. So again, the question says, how far are they now from home? Uh, Alfonso. and Dork are now 7.81 kilometers from home. 
So Alfonso's out of luck, but it looks like Dork could probably just fly back home. So anyway, that is how you do example 14 and problems like it. All right, let's take a look at another example. And that is example 15 from page 100. Okay. This one uh, has little Billy traveling at 16 kilometers per hour due east by crocodile. So here's little Billy and his crocodile. His dad travels at 20 kilometers per hour due south on his moped with his bevy of swans. And there's dad. How far apart are they after four hours if they start at the same point? Okay, so back to drawing pictures. Let's see. So we've got north, east, south, and west. Okay, so little Billy travels 16 kilometers per hour due east by crocodile. So um, now the thing is, is they're both traveling for four hours. So let's do this. Let's figure out first off how far Billy and his crocodile have traveled at f after four hours. So if he's at 16 kilometers per hour at four hours, we just have to multiply that out and see what we get. So take 16 times four, and we get that he is 64. He's traveled 64 kilometers. All right, <clears throat> so, and again, a nice thing, these hours cancel out, so that is where your kilometers come from. So Billy's traveled 64 kilometers. Let's see how far Dad and his bevy of swans have traveled. So Dad is going 20 kilometers per hour. So just to show you this for one hour. But he actually travels for four hours. See again how these hours cancel out. And so it's just 20 times 4, which he has gone 80 kilometers. All right. So we can just draw ourselves our pretty little triangle with these measurements. All right. So here's home. Billy travels 64 kilometers. And which way is he going? He's going east. So Billy has gone 64 kilometers east. So here is Billy and his crocodile, right? Now dad starts also from the same point and he has traveled south, right? South for 80 kilometers. Right? Due south. And so there's where dad and his bevy of swans are. So what we want to do is we want to figure out how far apart they are. So we want to figure out what that is. So again, back to just good old Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So again, the important part is that that over there is the X squared. And so we do 64 squared plus 80 squared. So 64 squared and 80 squared added together give us 10,496 equals x squared. So then we square root both of those to find our answer. Square root of our answer is 102.45, let's call it. 102.45 kilometers, right? So, after four hours, they are about 102.45. 0.45 kilometers apart. All right, and there 
is our lovely answer to that one. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. Okay, and this is example 16 from page 101. So, this one here, Marge travels from her igloo on a true bearing of 0 0.74 degrees for 112 kilometers to the limb store. And again, that's limbs for her dolls, I uh, assume. In her pink convertible auto sled, which is this here. Um, after she goes to the limb store she then travels 134 kilometers on a true bearing of 164 degrees to pick up a visor organizer which is this here and everyone needs one of those so how far is she now from her igloo so let's draw again a picture okay so here she is in her pink auto sled and she is traveling again at a true bearing of here's true north 74 degrees. We know that this is 90, so 74 degrees must be something like that. So this is 74 degrees. And that's where she picks up the limbs at the limb store. From there, she heads, and again, you start with this here being due north. And now she travels at 164 degrees. So again, here's 90. 180 would be all the way down, so 164 is probably about right here. So now she's traveling on her sled like this here to the to pick up her visor organizer. Right? This here is 164 degrees. Alright, so this one here is 112 kilometers that she travels to get her limbs at the limb store and then she travels 134 kilometers to get the visor organizer. How far is she now from her igloo? So what we're trying to find now is this length right here. Alright, so what we gotta do is we gotta try to figure out, we only have these two here, this needs to be a right angle here in order for us to be able to use our dear friend Pythagoras. Pythagoras' theorem to figure this out. So let's try to figure out and see what this angle is right here. So if you think about it, this is 74 degrees here. To figure out what this is here, again if we kept this if we kept this thing going here, there's our 74 degree angle right there. So <clears throat> Let's see, 74. So to figure out what this is here, we would just take 164 minus 74. And that magically and thankfully gives us 90 degrees. So we know that now this piece right here is 90 degrees. Since this is a straight angle there, that is also 90 degrees. So we are officially in business being able to figure out what this is because this is a right triangle. Okay, So now back to a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The x goes in our c squared spot and then the 112 kilometers goes here. The 134 goes there and we square those and add them together. So let's do that, 112 squared plus 134 squared gives us 30,500 equals x squared. So again, we now want to square root both of those. So we get x equals, we're going to square root our answer and we get that she is 174 about 174 let's do 0 0.6 0 0.6 kilometers away from home from her igloo so Marge is about 
174.6 kilometers away from her igloo. Alright, and that is pretty much it. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.